I love these screws. I don't know where it says it somewhere on here. This is for exterior deck screws, right? But you don't have to um, pre-drill with these screws. They're great. It doesn't. It won't split the wood. I'll show you. It's a little hard because I don't have the the piece that goes in here. Was it that it has magnet? Give me a second. Damn it, I want to show you, but it's going to be pretty hard for her. Oh, I'm doing it the wrong way. Oh. Okay. I'll show you now. No split, and as you can see, nowhere on here is there any holes that I drilled anything. I mean, um, pre-drilled. I wish I could just set you up. Like, let me see. Maybe I can. I can set it up here, or I can set it up here. Okay. There you go. Oops. <laughs> hey. hey. You can tell it. This is well put together. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to keep on doing this. Well, I'm working on my motor mount, and my drill gave up on me. <laughs> I Since I bought it, I've never put it to charge, and I've used it many times. So this is what I've done so far. And what I have to do now is sand these down since this gave up on me. I'll go ahead and sand them down, and those right there hopefully this will work what I'm doing now or trying to do is put the hooks or the little thing there so I can show you real quick is tie a um, a bungee cord around the kayak and then put one of these on here to tie them onto the kayak as well with I don't know if I have it the these ones like this the car the carabiner and the oh my god I can't remember this cord give me a second because I'm 
It's not the punchy, it's the... I can't remember what it's called now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to put the, the bungee cord. Oh, maybe I'll use some of that cord as well. Paracord. I'll hook it up and try to tie, tie it around the kayak and my little helper's under there. Right, Benji? So now what I'm going to do is just sand this down since my drill gave up on me and I'll leave this for another day. Probably tomorrow. Maybe later on tonight.
so I'm still working on the motor mount. I just drilled a couple holes here. So I could put this like this and tie this off to the kayak. Hopefully it will hold that I put, see, over there, uh, right through there. So I could tie off the, I think I'm going to go with bungee cord, but then again, I don't know because it, the bungee cord stretches and I don't want it to stretch. So I think I might go with period cord. Can you guys help me out? What do you think I should, because of what I'm going to do is tie here and then go around the kayak so I don't have to drill any kind of holes in the kayak and um, tell me please in the comments down below should I go with pericord or the bungee if I go with bungee I'm gonna get a couple I think my mom might have some so maybe I'll I'll, I'll take some from her <laughs> and I'll tie it off and I'll tie it on so I do have pericord and I do have bungee and I also have a couple of extra of these in case I go with the paracord. So please let me know what you think. Do you think I should do it with the bungee or the paracord? I have both of them, so I don't have to go out and buy anything else for for this. Now what I'm going to do is drill this here. Give me a second. These are not the, like the, the other screws where... I don't want to strip this and that's what's happening look see maybe I'll try a different um, thing for this you could tell I used the hell out of this <laughs> and pretty soon I'm going to have to find the uh, this one I think this one or this one I'm gonna have to use on my on my box <clears throat> the box I'm making for my kayak all right give me a second well it happened I stripped it look at it so now I'm just taking it off I thought it was light enough that I could go ahead and just take it off with my fingers and nope, not yet. Alright, hold on. Let me take this off. Okay, so what I'm doing is putting this gear in there. This doesn't, um, it sounds like it might. Let me do this, okay? Okay, there it is. Um, I was made a hole and it came the screw came out through here so I'm like oh <laughs> I'm gonna keep on using those screws I'm not gonna use those little itty bitty screws I'm done with them that's the second one that strips here's the one that stripped and here's another one I don't know if you can see it there it is this one's good but I don't want it to strip, and then I'm going to be like, oh, God, now I have to take it off. So I'd rather use these ones that I, I don't even, I don't have to drill. But I already did drill. Oh, Lord. As you can see, I pre-drilled the wood to put on those crappy-ass screws that keep on stripping. Instead of just going with these ones that are, like, amazing. If you're making anything, this drills through wood okay look it has the little pattern I could drill right here at the tip and if you find the other ones you could drill through plastic uh, concrete you could drill through wood uh, metal so many things and you don't have to pre-drill as you could tell I did not pre-drill this this is pine I wanted to use the same, this is oak by the way, um, I wanted to use the same kind of material but I didn't have none and this was left in the scrap aisle, well they marked down 60, 70% off at Home Depot, basically 
I got the hookup. I got these for free. <laughs> this one and this one. So hopefully it won't. This one might uh, warp with water and, and mess up. But hopefully these don't because this wood is expensive. Look at this. I want to go lift this one up. Now I have to go back outside and take off these little fangs right there. Alright, so now I'm going to do this. I think I'm not going to use that hole. Because that hole is going to mess with me. It's going to go out this way. And I'm not about to do that. So I might just tilt it to the side. Use the top one, but tilt this to the side so it doesn't happen. Alright guys, so I took down the kayak. Hey, stop! I took down the kayak so you guys could see what it looks like. This is where the lump was at, right here. And what I did was, I took the heat gun and I lowered it some. Then I added water so it could stop the process of melting, because it was really hot. And I just put water all over this. Um, I could leave it there, but I don't know how the engine might sit there you know, on this. Maybe I have to, if I have to do it some, see how it rocks? Look, it doesn't rock anymore. Okay. Hi, pretty boy. Hey. Okay, go away. Go away. No one wants to see you. There ain't no food right now. There's going to be food in a little bit. Stop it. God, sucks. <laughs> okay. So that's the way I will have it on here. Hopefully it will work. And... For the bungee cord or the paracord, please let me know. This is what the kayak looks on, like underneath. And I'll just tie it, tie it there. And from here, I'll tie it over there again so it doesn't uh, move. Or maybe I'll just put one of these little things and finish drilling holes you know, my kayak. Okay, Shelby. All right, guys, so that's what it's going to look like the motor mount and I'll put the kayak I mean the, the engine towards the back on the kayak so let me know what you think if you think I should go with the paracord or the bungee I am going to do bungee right here from that little hook all the way down there so I could strap it on and that that's the thing. I don't know. So let me know, please, what you think. Do you think I should put bungee or parrot cord on that? Let me put this away and put the heat gun away. All right, guys. I would be able to put the engine on there to look at it, but I'm not able to because it's not strapped on yet. And I still have to make holes in my kayak. <laughs> I'm dreading that. I'm dreading it because it says that if you make holes on your kayak or put anything on there, you void the war warranty. So, yeah. I think it's a five year warranty and I just had it. It's been a year already. Alright, guys, let me know, okay? Thank you. I would really appreciate it. Have a great night. Bye.